Hey guys, it's time to do another one of my video game collections, and this time I'm going to be focusing on my Nintendo DS games. So let's get started. First things first, we have Final Fantasy 3 for the DS, obviously. Um, this is the only Final Fantasy in the main series that I never got a chance to play, obviously, since it's been uh, probably, what, 15, 17, I don't remember how many years it's been, uh, so that here in the States, we finally get some form of Final Fantasy 3. Uh, since it was uh, Final Fantasy 3, here at the States was Final Fantasy 6, and we never got it. Um, I, I liked some things about it. I, I liked um, how magic was simply one, one MP cost for no matter how powerful the spell was. But the difficulty in the game was annoying. Uh, it lacked a story. And for the most part, it was it was okay, but it wasn't nothing special. Um, but I did enjoy the 20 or 30 or 40. I, I think it was 60 hours I spent on this game. I liked it. It was okay. It was it was okay, but it really wasn't one of the best Final Fantasies. Kind of lower tier. Um, moving on, uh, we have Mario Kart DS. Now I grew up playing Mario Kart on the N64. Um, the only reason I actually got this game was my brother had it, and we, uh, me, him, my girlfriend, we were, we all were playing on our DSs, and we, uh, we only had the, like these eight sample tracks, and really wanted to play the other one, so, just you know, hey, you know, let's let's you know, I bought a copy, and my girlfriend bought a copy, so you know we could all play, and uh, surprisingly, I enjoyed it. it it's. Uh, it's a, it's a good game to, to play like on a road trip. Uh, for instance, I just, uh, let's see, a little over a week ago, I left for uh, out of state to do some stuff at my grandparents' uh, house, and uh, we're stuck in a car for like seven and a half hours, and that's something that passed the time periodically, uh, as, periodically as we uh, had time to spare. Um, but anyways, Mario Kart DS, uh, a lot of nostalgic tracks, some from the Super Nintendo, which I never got to play, uh, but the N64 definitely, uh, it's a good game. Moving on, we have Pokemon Platinum. Now, this is the fourth generation of Pokemon games, and um, I only bought it because it is the kind of crystal and emerald of uh, Diamond and Pearl, so um, I really wanted to get the kind of like the, the merge the merging kind of game uh, together, the package, the, the combination, whatever you want to call it. And um, I liked some elements about it, but most of it, I don't really like the new generation of Pokemon. I really like the, the first and second generation, and Platinum to me just feels like they really lost their touch. The RPG elements are still the same, and they add a lot of superfluous uh, elements to the game that I feel really distract and really are unnecessary. They, they bog down with all this extra crap that I just don't think the Pokemon games need. Um, but to each his own, I guess, is, as the old adage goes. Um, black and white looks interesting somewhat, uh, but I'm going to withhold my judgment on that until more information comes out. Moving on. Oh, actually, one last thing about Pokemon Platinum. I'm uh, since this literally just popped in my head. This kind of Pokemon game really is for the younger generation now. I mean, I'm 21, and uh, this is more for like my brother's age, 12, 13, 10, younger kids that are now getting into Pokemon because of these flashier, nicer ones. They really didn't grow up with what I did, like in like 1990. What was it, 1996, 97, whenever Pokemon Red, Yellow, Gold, Silver, all of them came out. Um, so that's really what I feel these games are. They're just for kids nowadays. They're not really for people my age. Uh, but here's a game that I was very much anticipating, and I'm still playing, and I am really enjoying. Pokemon Soul Silver. Um, this is the remake, port, whatever you want to call it, the full remake of uh, Pokemon Silver the DS. Um, they've made some modifications to elements of the game, but n I would say a fair majority of what was in Silver is exactly as it was in this game. And 
I like it. This uh, silver, actually crystal was my favorite, but silver was one of my top favorite uh, Pokemon games, and it still is, and tragically I wish I still had my original silver cartridge, cartridge but uh, it burned in a fire, unfortunately. Not my own, but uh, a friend of mine's, an old friend of mine's house burnt down, and he lost it in his house, and it, apparently it's gone now. Um, but enough of that. Um, Pokemon Soul Silver, again, it, it, after playing Pokemon Platinum, I really felt like this was a, uh, I felt a disconnect from the original heart, heart of Silver and the second generation of Pokemon games, but once you get into this, it wasn't until I reached, I think, uh, the Bell Sprout Tower, Sprout Tower in, uh, that, that first town, that I really, Violet Town, I think it's what it was called, um, that I really felt like I'm playing Silver again, and I think uh, kudos to uh, Nintendo and Game Freak for doing such a fine job of this remake, and I'm still enjoying it. Uh, the only thing I will say that I don't like about Pokemon Soul Silver is the fact that uh, not necessarily the third generation, but the fourth generation Pokemon from Diamond Pearl are found in this. They really didn't need to do that. I really wish they would have kept it out. But I can understand with, you know, the later generations of Pokemon games being, you know, the craze now. That, you know, you just have to throw it in with a remake of, you know, a second generation. Altogether, I'm liking it. And I'm probably going to play it for a very long time to come. Um, and finally, for DS, we have Prince of Persia, The Fallen King. Now, I got this game when I first got my DS because I didn't have any games for it. And it was right after I finished the second to newest Prince of Persia, the one that came out in 2008, the the reboot, the cell shading uh, with the Prince uh, Elica, the whole more platform thing. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, this is a very quick, easy, kind of semi-difficult platformer. Uh, the DS touch side of this does a fairly decent job. I mean, it's it's still... I wish you could use the D-pad, but you can't. And if I remember correctly. And it's a nice tie-in between uh, Prince of Persia and whatever its sequel is going to be, and I can't wait to hear more about that. And um, that's been my DS collection.